Welcome Aries, this is your mid-month tarot forecast for April 2024. It is a general reading, so just take what resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly. You're rocking awesome, love your support. If you do enjoy my uh, readings, my inspirational videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and the notification bell so that my videos come through to your feed. You get notified of when your next reading is out. And I'm going to do a bonus reading for the star sign that gets the highest number of views and likes this and uh, this month. So there'll be a, an extra bonus reading at the end of the month. So make sure you hit that like button. All right, let's dive in, my love. So we are going to be pulling and opening energy from the beautiful heart and soul oracle. And happy birthday to those of you having a birthday in each Aries season. This wants to come out. Very beautiful. There's some angel wings there and lots of uh, stars. It says, close your eyes and feel yourself embraced by angelic wings of light. Feel the light dissolve your fears, concerns and doubts and fill your heart with peace and joy. Everyone is safe and all is well. There's no need for concern. Oh, beautiful reassuring energy there that everything's going to be okay. All right, we're going to be having a look at some predictions with the Angel Wisdom Tarot. Past, present, future predictions. First up, let's have a look at the situation. Well, you've got the King of Earth, so very grounded energy, uh, very much focused on your coin. Uh, it can represent the Midas touch, a lot of things working out really well for you financially. Uh, there could be new opportunities coming your way, new job contracts being signed. It's really about your finances looking really, really good. All right, let's have a look at anything challenging you right now. Oh, not much of a challenge, darling. You've got the star card. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, everything working out perfectly for you, having faith in the future. Uh, for some of you, stepping into the spotlight and being the star, darlings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the basis of the situation. The guidance, please, for Aries. Thank you. Get two here. Well, oh, you've got the moon, so there's a message to trust your intuition. Don't second guess yourself. And you've got the page of water or the page of cups. So your cup overflowing, you may be offering your cup to someone, your cup of love. Someone may be offering their cup of love to you. It's a dolphin jumping in the background representing happiness. So trust your intuition on particularly any love connections that are coming your way or how you feel about people. Well, let's have a look at the recent past. Okay, so in the recent past, you had the eight of air, which is a sense of feeling a bit stuck or trapped. And you actually have taken the mask off. So you did free yourself because it is in the past position, yeah? So possibly recognized where you were holding yourself stuck. All right, let's have a look at the present. Oh, all your ships are coming in. You've got the three of fire. Planning for the long term, there's an opportunity coming in behind her that she can't even see yet. So possibly ending some opportunities, new ones coming your way. Any other guidance there? You've got the four of it. So being very practical with your money, which is putting savings aside. Uh, not, you know, being very wise and with your money. All right, let's have a look at the near future. In the future position, you've got the four of air, which is taking time out for rest, rejuvenation. She's sitting in meditative pose, really looking after the physical body as well as being imbalanced in all aspects of self. All right, this is your energy, which we're having a look at. This is gorgeous. You've got the ten of cups, this beautiful, happy family, gorgeous contentment, happy partnership, beautiful home in the background. And it's come out with a high priestess. So guy or girl, high priest, high priestess, is tapping into your spiritual wisdom, your higher states of consciousness. Beautiful energy is coming through for you, Aries. Let's have a look at the energy of those around you. Okay, there's a windfall coming in. So if it's not you, it's someone around you having a windfall, your partner, someone that's going to possibly share that windfall with you, whatever it is that's going to help pay off some bills, some debts. 
And then you've got the page of airs. So anything that you're doing around your ideas, your creativity, or even your job prospects is that may need some refinement, yeah? All right, let's have a look at your hopes and fears. Oh, you got the Ace of Cups, the Ace, the One of Cups, or the Ace of Cups, yeah. So, again, a, a love offering. Mm -hmm. Again, a dolphin in the background. So, certainly open for love, looking for love, a love opportunity coming towards you. Being, for those of you partnered up, being very loving towards your partner. You've also got the uh, Seven of Water. So, there's a choice to make. Seven of Cups. So possibly procrastinating on a decision you need to make, not having a lot of clarity. Any guidance on that? Hmm. This is interesting. It's come out. It's related to a celebration. Celebrations are related to, you know, things with family and friends, engagements, wedding announcements birth announcements, graduations. Perhaps you're going to get an invitation and you're not really sure whether or not you want to go. Huh? Whether you want to be supportive of it. Super interesting. All right, let's have a look at the outcome. Oh, there's so much here about love. There's a mutual love offering, the Two of Cups. Mutual love here. Mm -hmm. I'm in the background again. Uh, overcoming challenges, not giving up on people that you love. Wow, Aries, you've got love all over your reading tongues. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh, yes. All right, let's pull you some clarifiers with the Muse Tarot. Let's have a look in the centre here where finances are looking really good and you've got the star card here, so everything working out beautifully for you. Oh, you're going through death and rebirth. So some changes happening around your coin or your career path. Oh, the sun's coming out. So I'm going to say to you, there's an ending of any kind of poverty or lack in your life and just this beautiful phase of abundance and financial stability and security coming in. Let's have a look at your trust in your intuition when it comes to love. You love. Well, you're going through a bit of an awakening, looking at things at a different perspective when it comes to love. Any other guidance there? Mm. There's a soulmate connection here. Definitely a mirrored pair. A perfect match, darlings. <laughs> yes. All right, let's have a look at the present. We're planning for the long term and a big focus on being very practical with your money. Mm, you've got the seven of inspiration, so really protecting what you've created, protecting the assets that you're creating and the stableness around your assets. Mm-hmm. All right, let's have a look at your energy where you got the Ten of Cups here. Everything's looking so beautiful. Yeah, high Priest or High Priestess energy. Okay, some of you are just doing a little bit of overthinking. She's pulling her hair out in two different directions. Why is that here? Okay, because you have overcome a lot of challenges. So don't slip backwards into negative thinking. There's so much positive energy here. Any other guidance there? Mm. Spirit's saying you've got to choose where you put your, your energy and your focus because when you really when you focus on the negative, that's where you, well, that's what you feed energetically. That's what you feed. When you focus on the positive and moving forward and all the practical things you can do, and the, you know there's an amazing relationship here, is that's where your energy goes to the positive. Now, if you need any help with that, I've partnered with Innertune app and they do these beautiful affirmations. So at any time you're feeling a little bit negative or you find yourself recycling backwards. Uh, it's a free app. You can download it on your mobile phone. It creates these instantly creates beautiful playlists for you based on what area of your life you want to boost yourself up in or improve. And you can play them for a minute or five minutes. So very easy to do during your day. You can set reminders on your phone to remind you to listen to them. Or you can just tap on the app and play them. Yeah. Um, there is a premium version which just gives you a lot more affirmations to tap into and longer listening time. Uh, but I love it. I've been trying it out. I love it. So I'll put the link on here and down below. Let's have a look at this windfall of abundance coming in, which uh, dare I say someone's going to share with you. 
and a need to just refine any ideas that you have or career paths that you want to follow. Oh, you're absolutely manifesting everything you want. Jewels dropping from heaven. You've got Aladdin's lamp in the corner. Rub that lamp, darlings. Rub that lamp. All right, let's have a look at your hopes and fears where there's certainly a cup of love being offered. There's some sort of invitation coming towards you that you're not sure whether you want to take related to a celebration. Yeah, it's are saying it's time for a brand new fresh start in your life. Maybe just a different perspective on how you're looking at love and relationships, but to be honest, it's a tiny tweak, darlings, because it looks so good. All right, let's have a look at the outcome, which is this beautiful mutual love partnership here. Yeah, again, you've got the magician. Spirit saying you can do anything, Aries. Whatever you want to do, you can have and be, yeah. If you want love, it's sitting there. Wherever you put your time and energy, that's what you're going to create in your life. All right, let's put some guidance from the uh, Nature's Wisp, sorry. Oh. Let's have a look in the centre here where there's this death and rebirth going on around your finances, which are looking so good. Oh, my darling, she got infinite blessings coming. Have a look at that. Truly, truly blessed when it comes to coin. Let's have a look at this love connection here uh, where Spirit's saying you really just got to trust your intuition. There's a soulmate connection here. You got to keep your dreams alive. So if you want love, I'm going to say there's two messages channeling through with this. So don't give up on love, but also don't give up on your financial you know don't put all your energy into love spirit saying because there's a lot here about so much financial abundance coming in around your career and your business whatever you're doing so balance between both you don't have to be black and white when it comes to having a love relationship in your life particularly if you're somebody that thinks that you're super focused and you can't have love in your life because you've got so much else going on spirit saying make room for it because there's a beautiful love connection here trust yourself all right, let's have a look at this side where there's a bit of overthinking going on unnecessarily, darlings. There's so many blessings coming in. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> any guidance for Aries? No, I was saying just practice the art of gratitude and appreciation. Anytime you're kind of feeling a little bit negative, those positive affirmations are really going to help, which is mindfulness practices basically. And any time where you've got a decision to make, Spirit's saying this, this, this invitation that's coming in that you're not really sure about, Spirit's saying pause and really think about it, yeah? Because sometimes, like, we've really got to trust ourselves. Sometimes in our gut, right, we really don't want to go. Like, everything within us is telling us we don't want to go. Well, there's your guiding light. But then you've got to look at it and go, why don't I want to go? Is it fear-based? Is it I don't, can't be bothered when really you should be bothered? Um, is it a connection that you don't really support in your life? You're not really happy about it? And that can happen for all sorts of reasons, yeah? I don't think it's related to, it's not a celebration that's related to anything that's happening in your life. It's someone connected to you. Any other guidance there? It's kind of super interesting. Mm. Spirit's saying you will, have, you will have a clear path forward. If you take a little time to pause, find your own truth, center yourself, you'll know what to do. All right, well, let's pull you a message from your angels. Oh, you've got the truth. It says the best way through your current situation is just to speak your truth. Contrary to what you may think, no one will be hurt if you express exactly how you feel. Maybe in terms of this situation, you are holding your feelings back. And for those of you also when it comes to love, if you're worried about a new soulmate coming in and it feels all-encompassing, feel like it's going to take over your entire life, speak your truth that you need balance in your life, you know, that you're happy to be in a connection but you also need time for yourself and your business and your career. Speak your truth, right? Because sometimes we can think a whole lot of stuff and the other person has no idea what's going on with us mm -hmm, and vice versa. All right, let's pull you a crowning energy from the beautiful Pegasus Oracle. Now, if you would like extra guidance and support, I've partnered with Spiritual Blossom. If you're looking for a personal reading, a psychic reading, they have a great team of really experienced psychics and clairvoyants. So if you do want to get a personal reading, I'll put their link on here and down below. 
be guidance, please. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, this is interesting. You've pulled Pegasus of the Eclipse. So whenever we have Eclipse energy, and I have to be honest with you, I'm actually recording this on the 8th of April, so quite a bit forward from the middle of the month, which is Eclipse energy today. <laughs> There's an eclipse happening. Whenever we have eclipse energy, it eclipses things out of our life. So whatever we take, whatever we're leaving behind, we're leaving behind permanently. Whatever we're taking forward with us, including relationships and friendships, is what is meant to be in our life. We can also change completely different paths in career and business. Wow, have a look at that. <laughs> a lot of fire energy. Solar sun energy coming off that. It is a solar eclipse, so basically the moon is passing in front of the sun. We got the guidance. Just depends on when you're watching this reading. And often the energy of an eclipse can last for quite a few months, yeah. It says Aries, nature provides times of darkness, such as the safe cloaking of a spiritual wound that allows the seed to germinate before it pushes its roots down and reaches up for the light. Or it may be the darkness that has less generous intentions and causes confusion when one attempts to see through a temporary veil. Fortunately, spiritual protection flows whenever and wherever it's needed, and this is such a time. There is a matter in your life that you cannot perceive clearly at present. It may involve deliberate subterfuge or be a case of you needing more facts to come to light. Whatever the situation, the clarity that you need shall arise. In the interim, while the mystery is yet to be revealed, have patience. Keep your inner eye open and recognize that when the time is right, you shall know whatever you need to understand. And although you may not comprehend why, the time is rich and ripe to let go and be reborn on a deep inner level. Ask the universe for assurance in whatever matter feels most pressing to your heart. Remain open to the signals and information that come to you. In time, you shall see things differently. Know that you are loved. You will benefit even from the most unexpected twists and turns and all is well. So, I mean, there is this, you know, certainly you're reading, part of your reading, sitting in your hopes and fears position is a bit of confusion going on about a certain situation related to others. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below and how this reading resonated for you. Take it easy and for now. Much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.